Welcome to Effector from the Electronic Frontier Foundation. This is the audio edition of EFF's email newsletter geared towards keeping you on the bleeding edge of your digital rights. This is Effector Volume 36, Issue 7, titled Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Section 230. This issue was published in May 2024, and I'm your host, membership advocate Christian Romero. Let's start with our top features. First up, want to make big tech monopolies even worse? Kill Section 230. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are supporting a plan to sunset Section 230. But without Section 230, big tech will shoot first, ask questions later, when it comes to taking down controversial online speech. For marginalized users with little social power, big tech takedowns will be permanent, because big tech has no incentive to figure out whether it's worth posting their speech. Next up, online speech protections for everyone are in danger. We need your help to tell all U.S. Senators and Representatives to oppose the bill to end Section 230 and vote no when it comes to the floor. And now, let's roll through some EFF updates. First up, how to fix the internet podcast, Right to Repair Catches the Car. Gay Gordon Byrne, Executive Director of the Repair Association, joins EFF's Cindy Cohen and Jason Kelly to discuss this pivotal moment in the fight for consumers to have the right to products that are repairable and reusable. Next up, no country should be making speech rules for the world. It's a simple proposition. No single country should be able to restrict speech across the entire internet. Any other approach invites a swift relay race to the bottom for online expression, giving governments and courts in countries with the weakest speech protections complete control to edit the internet. Next up, EFF urges Supreme Court to reject Texas's speech-chilling age verification law. A Texas age verification law will rob people of anonymity online, chill access to speech for privacy and security-minded users, and entirely block some adults from accessing constitutionally protected online content, EFF argued in a brief filed with the Supreme Court last week. Next up, Big Tech to the EU, Drop Dead. The European Union's new Digital Markets Act is a complex, many-legged beast, But at its root, it's a regulation that aims to make it easier for the public to control the technology they use and rely on. There's just one wrinkle. The big tech companies don't want that future, and they're trying their damnness to strangle it in its cradle. And for our last update, EFF to court. Electronic ankle monitoring is bad. Sharing that data is even worse. The government violates the privacy rights of individuals on pretrial when it continuously tracks, retains, and shares their location, EFF explained in a friend of the court brief filed in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. With the EFF updates out of the way, let's go through some announcements. First up, EFF at Hope 15. EFF is excited to be at Hope from July 12th to 14th at St. John's University in New York City. Register now for in-person or virtual attendance. Next up, EFF at Black Hat USA. EFF will be back in Las Vegas for Black Hat USA on August 7th and 8th. We'll be in the business hall where you can come say hi and learn more about the work we're doing to defend digital freedoms. Interested in attending? EFF supporters attending in person can get $200 off briefing tickets by using the code EFF2024 when registering online. Next up, Time is running out for EFF Awards nominations. You have until this Friday, May 31st, to nominate key leaders and organizations in the fight for freedom and innovation online to be honored with the 2024 EFF Awards. Nominees must have made a specific, substantial contribution to help ensure that technology supports freedom, justice, and innovation for all people. Our community has celebrated people working in diverse fields, including journalism, art, digital access, legislation, tech development, and law. 2024 winners will be celebrated at a live event, Thursday, September 12th, in San Francisco. And for our last announcement, what does EFF mean to you? EFF is the leading nonprofit organization defending civil liberties in the digital world, championing user privacy, free expression, and innovation through impact litigation, policy analysis, grassroots activism, and technology development. Our mission is to ensure that technology supports freedom, justice, and innovation for all people of the world. But what does that mean to you? We'd love to know what you think of EFF. Why do you support us? How do you see our mission? And what's the issue you're most glad we're addressing? Drop us a line at testimonials at EFF.org and let us know.
And now, let's go through some job openings. First up, Social Media and Video Manager. EFF is looking for a full-time social media and video manager to join our activism team. The Social Media and Video Manager leads EFF's social media strategy and video creation, and analyzes guides and develops EFF's presence on online platforms. As social media and video production are becoming powerful pathways for sharing EFF's work, this position will play an important role in developing EFF's approach and ensuring EFF's continued success in protecting digital rights. You'll need a broad understanding of digital platforms, best practices, and trends related to current and emerging social media platforms, experience in developing content for a broad cultural, diverse, and multi-generational audience, and the ability to understand and succinctly articulate complex and nuanced technology, legislation, and court cases around digital liberties. And next up, legal interns. Applications are now open for the Fall 2024 intern class, with a deadline of June 30th. EFF's legal internships provide law students with a unique opportunity to develop valuable skills and real-world experience while working with a nationally recognized public interest law firm. Legal interns learn from and assist EFF staff attorneys in all aspects of litigation, including legal research, factual investigation, and drafting of memoranda and briefs, while also helping with policy research, client counseling, and the development of education materials. EFF's docket ranges from the technological and legal landscape, from online fair use of copyrighted materials to illegal government spying. And now, we can go through a few mini-links. First one from The Advocate, Why I'm Protecting Privacy in Our Connected World. EFF's Erica Portnoy explains why we should all recognize and fight legislation that's pushing us to give up our power, privacy, and control over our health care and free expression. Next up from Boston Institute for Nonprofit Journalism, Facial Animosity. As Massachusetts lawyers weigh new facial recognition rules, their own guards shop for AI-enhanced surveillance that privacy advocates call chilling, unlawful, and racially biased. This next one comes from DL News. Why privacy advocates argue the conviction of Tornado Cash dev Alexei Pertsev harms everyone. The conviction of Tornado Cash developer Alexei Pertsev is sending ripple effects through the blockchain industry, and EFF's Aaron Mackey predicts a chilling effect as devs are deterred from building privacy and security-enhancing digital tools. Next up from Al Jazeera English, are you chatting with a pro-Israel AI-powered superbot? As Israel's assault on Gaza continues on the ground, a parallel battle rages on social media between people and bots. Quote, we don't want people's voices being censored by states, but we also don't want people's voices being drowned out by these bots and by humans doing propaganda as well as states doing propaganda. End quote. EFS Jillian C. York said. This last mini link comes from 404 Media. Samsung requires independent repair shops to share customer data, snitch on people who use aftermarket parts, leaked contract shows. This is exactly the kind of onerous, one-sided agreement that necessitates right to repair, EFF's Kit Walsh said. The data collection is excessive, and it forecloses competition and allows Samsung to inflate the prices for parts. And that's a wrap. Thanks for listening. If you like what you're hearing or would like to learn more, subscribe at EFF.org Effector. Did you know that EFF is a member-supported nonprofit organization? You can help us protect digital freedoms online for everyone by donating at EFF.org Effect, and even grab some of our latest member gear. Thanks for your support, and I hope you'll join us for the next issue of Effector.